Warning, the following video contains in a very opinionated mail. If you dislike facts or the truth, I suggest you press back or close your tab or close the window ASAP. Oh yeah, and fuck you, because you ain't a real nigga. Rants! What do people? It's your boy J-Dub. Unfortunately, my lapel mic doesn't work anymore, so I can throw that on the ground because it's shit. Anyway, I just got done going through a situation, so I want to ask you a hypothetical question, and this is probably what I'm going to do a lot more because just taking my light and sitting outside while ranting is actually pretty fucking awesome and pretty easy, and I don't really need to edit this besides cutting dead, dead time. Anyway, I want to ask you this question hypothetically because I believe it's much more easier than just ranting it at you. So this just happened, and remember, I'm asking you this hypothetically. Let's get into it. Say you walked in the kitchen, right? Follow me? Okay. You walk in there, you open your freezer, you see like a pack of burgers, and then you open your cabinet and you see like a ginormous can of chicken noodle soup, and then a ginormous can of chili. You say out loud while you're in the kitchen thinking to yourself, I'm not sure what I really want right now. I'm not sure if I want to eat burgers or make some chili or make some chicken noodle soup. Say you have a woman to your right, whether it be your mom, whether it be your girlfriend or whatever, and she says, ooh, burgers, how about you make burgers the way you made a few nights ago? And you say, I really don't feel like setting all that up, and I really don't feel like cooking all that or doing all that shit and whatnot. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she says, well, I really want burgers. And you say, well, I'm not really sure. I just don't feel like cooking burgers right now, but I might, I just gotta see. I just don't feel like cooking that much right now because I'm tired. And then, she says, oh, well, I cook for you all the time, so that's really messed up that you won't, you won't cook for me. But I see how it is. You just don't love me. You following? Okay. Then, then say that, um, fuck, there's somebody over there talking while I'm trying to record. They just, they just threw it off. Then say, wait, I didn't, I'm not saying that because I'm being disrespectful. I wouldn't cook for you. I'm just not sure about what I want to cook right now. And then she still says, you know, that's disrespectful, you won't cook for me. Blase, blase, blah, same old record player. And then you look over and you say, well, if you want me to cook burgers, then fine, I'll cook you some burgers. And then the whole script flips. She starts to rage saying, hold on, I don't want you to cook burgers for me. Whoa, you're being rude, you're being disrespectful, why do you gotta throw a little hissy fit? When in reality, you threw no hissy fit and agreed to cook burgers because she wants some. But then she turns around and says, Well, I don't want none if you're going to cook them for me out of spite. But I blatantly just said I'm not sure if I want to cook burgers. And you told me that it was disrespectful that I wouldn't cook burgers even though I wasn't sure if I wanted to cook burgers. And now that I said, fine, I'll cook burgers if you're hungry. And then you say, no, don't cook burgers because... You're doing it out of spite and it won't taste good. And then when I said, no, I'm gonna cook you burgers if you're hungry, there's another woman in the living room who says, oh wow, he's sensitive. And they're both like, oh yeah, you're just taking it to a whole nother level. While I'm still level-headed and confused. How is it disrespectful because I'm still deciding on what to eat and I don't feel like cooking burgers, but if you're hungry, I said I'll cook you burgers and now you're saying, no, I don't want them. Like, that makes no fucking sense, and I know I can't be the only person here sitting that, like, that, that's that woman logic bullshit, like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. But I digress. As I said, this is purely hypothetical. So I'm asking you, does that make any sense, or am I just closed-minded as fuck? And that is all because um, I apparently have gained an audience across the street of a few people just watching me. And now it's getting awkward. And I'm just going to leave my lapel mic on the ground because I'm pissed. And uh, littering isn't cool, so I suggest you not do that. Um, whatever. I'm, I'm going to leave because I can't see them because this light is really bright. And um, it's really fucking awkward. So I'm out. Good, goodbye. But yeah, answer that question in the comments below. And subscribe, faggots.